Let me show you how to get a grade in lab 7 running in simulation. We need two windows open. We need the edX window open uh, shown here for simulation grader. And we need Kyle open. Uh, this is my solution. You have to do your own. Uh, we make sure we're in simulation. Uh, so I go over to debug. I see I'm in simulation mode. That's good. I'm going to build, which is to compile, and I'm going to debug. And when, after you've debugged your program and you're ready to, to grade, we're going to take the number from edX. This tells the grader who you are. Copy. Your number will be different. And you're going to paste it right in here. Paste. And when you're ready to grade, we hit the grade button here. Now when it's grading, what will happen is the grader will take, uh, take control of the inputs and either push or not push the buttons as it sees fit. You see it just pushed uh, switch 1 but not switch 2. So it's making sure that the output doesn't flash. And now it's pushed 1 and not uh, pushed 2 and not 1. And again, there should be no SOS. That's the part of the rule. And now that both switches are pressed, uh, your program uh, is supposed to generate the SOS. And so again, uh, while it's grading, uh, the grader engine will control the inputs. Uh, start your program and then check your outputs to make sure they're doing appropriately. You see the yellow light is flashing as desired. Uh, up in the logic analyzer, you can see the input and output. Over here, we see that this one is port F bit 4. You see that's bit 4. And this one is port F bit 3. So we see uh, w uh, one of the inputs and one of the outputs. Now, one of my favorite uh, logic analyzer buttons is called zooming to all. And so in this mode, I can see everything. And so uh, short, 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 you know, is, a, is an S. And there's the first long. Uh, for the O, and we can actually measure it. If I click here and scroll out there, we can see that the long is about a second and a half. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what's another window that's interesting to see? And that's the command window. Uh, command window, U. The command window. And in the command window, um, Status bar, status bar, status system viewers, tool window. There it is, command window. In the command window, there it is, uh, we can see what it's doing. So let's uh, break it open and watch the command window here. Uh, one of the problems with Lab 7 is to generate an SOS. Uh, it takes a long time. So this simulation uh, is very long and you're going to have to be patient. Okay, so let's review the uh, command window while that grading is still going on. You can see that it's still flashing uh, the SOS. Uh, these are the commands to set up the logic analyzer. And that happened automatically. We did that for you. you can change the logic analyzer if you want. Um, okay. Then when you hit the grading button, it started to grade. You can see the first thing it did is it checked to make sure the clock rate is running at 80 megahertz. And then uh, it checked the configuration for the input pin or input pins, uh, pin 4 and 0, to make sure that the enable register, pull up, direction, alternate function, um, analog mux, P control, those are all properly set. It would have stopped right there if it were not initialized, because you can't run without initializing. And then it checked the three output pins, which are PF3, 2, and 1, to make sure that they're properly enabled. Again, we need, a, uh, we need an a enable. Uh, set the direction register high, turn off the alternate function, turn off the analog uh, multiplexer, and turn off the P control for digital output. That was the initialization. The next step is what it did is it uh, checked to see that if the switches are not pressed, uh, the LED is off. And then it pushed one at a time, it pushed the switches uh, to see um, that the that to push the switches to make sure um, one at a time that nothing happens. And only when both switches are pressed, uh, and that's what it's currently doing now, is checking to see uh, whether the output is proper. Let's go back to the logic analyzer and see how it's doing. And right, we'll do a zoom all. And we can see uh, 
there's the S, uh, there's the O, there's the S, and then this is the delay, which is supposed to occur between the one and the next one. So you can see there's that four second delay uh, between one S and the, the other S. It's almost done. And you can see that it took uh, quite a while to run through the SOS. So make sure you're ready to debug when we hit the gray button. Uh, there's my code. Remember this code contains your number, your score, and the fact that we're running a lab 7 in simulation mode. So we copy this code, go back to edX, and paste it in. Check and check. If you don't get the right answer, uh, you can do it over and over again until you get it correct. And remember to go see the, uh, the discussion groups if you're, if you're having trouble. Uh, thanks and enjoy.